Hey guys, Mikas here for your live electronic music tutorials episode 272 and I will make you some melodic house but before I have to tell you guys that this episode is presented by WeMakeDanceMusic.com Click below, on the side room somewhere The largest music production marketplace on the internet that means we have a lot of templates, sound, presets, MIDI, everything We have about 500 artists that contribute to the marketplace It is really a marketplace where people buy and sell, it's not a site that sells stuff that one guy make in the studio it's a whole lot of people from all around the world that come to use the marketplace to buy and sell so if you want to buy and sell join the marketplace check it out that we make that music out there and that's it guys so episode 272 gonna make some melodic house i prepared a little bit of something here i'm thinking well nora and pure because lately i've been listening to her podcast i find the music interesting not all of it the track that she released the track that she does some things like that I'm like, oh this is a new genre it's uh I mean, it's kind of really on the edge of Deep House and Trance. It's a bit of course and Juna Deep-ish, but it's not quite, it's a bit, it's a different touch. One of the tracks got some strings in it. I tried some strings, didn't really work, but I, I think I will be able to fit it in, of course. And of course, we'll make a template with this episode for Logic Core X Ableton at the studio. So you guys are watching the tutorial or watch the whole tutorial, maybe, or not. Or watch the first, the, the, your favorite element downstairs. There's gonna be chapters with different things you can watch. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Uh, anyway, guys, so I'm gonna make the track today. It's gonna be a bit different. I already have an idea, and I like it when I have an idea that I can develop further into a track. If I make it from scratch, of course, there's all the basic thing, making the percussions, recording the things. This is a chord that is one of the chords that's been most used in all genres of music to create music. That includes punk, rock, pop, anything. It's a very simple chord progression. I mean, it's almost ridiculous, really. But it's been used all over and over again over the last, I guess, 50 years of commercial music that exists. So I use it as a starting point. So let's have a listen right away. Let's listen to this. I mean, it's obviously a little bit different because I use synths and stuff, but have a listen, guys. The chord is these. Actually, I just thought about this that I messed it up because this here I had the whole chord and decided to change it because I thought it fit better like this. So the, the chord is actually kind of gone. This was just my inspiration to start with this. What I've done with the bass, I took a moog bass and to, you know, celebrate this genre of one thing that she's doing that I cannot really do or seem to replicate quite yet is that they do advance and I go here and I put glide so of course there's a lot of glide when the note hit and when the note change it's an idea I think there's a lot more key playing and stuff but it's just to figure out a little bit of the style to replicate of course and of course the pad here that's very ethereal it's like has this this cool quality to it I think this would be better if the silver verb was on drop that a little bit a bit less sand of course so this music is in really in between house, techno and trance. It's an interesting thing because there's some arp, there's really drive sometimes, there's a melodic element, there's even orchestral elements. And I'm thinking like a cool arp in there would be nice. So I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna do alchemy, I'm gonna do an arp here, I'm gonna use a MIDI plugin, it's called arpeggiator. Hey then I'm gonna take the the keys that I have here and which are actually not quite exactly this chord I was talking about but I will do my best to include it in the pack or maybe to bring it back a little bit later in, in the track so something like that I think I'll probably put it a bit higher So we're like really in territory of all genres connected. This is electronic music that, that's interesting because genres are really kind of an abstract idea of like now progressive techno is hot. So everybody at the big progressive house called their track progressive techno, uh, progressive techno, sorry, melodic techno or melodic house really that is either or. I think it would be 
even attempt to put the strings in there with maybe a little bit higher and just try it up maybe it's gonna work maybe not Oof, i have doubts but you know give it a try lower the volume try to bring it in definitely too high here But it wasn't so good with the four keys, four chord that I have. It's better with those three. I cannot say I like those strings very much though. Full strings for layers. Let's see what we have here. Reverse strings could be interesting. Singer songwriter. The violence in the studio. Let's hear the violence maybe. Oh, the sample I have to load, of course. modulating them like I would modulate a synth, you know? Like literally, like a maestro in an orchestra would do, you would do this. I'm gonna cut them a little bit. I'm not sure why these keys are coming out so loud. I think they're, they're a little bit louder in here. I want them actually to be more quiet, so... Well, this is there. I don't really care for it now. I think it's going to be later on, more in the break, further in the track. So for now, I'm going to check out this little arp here, which is quite bassy. It's nice. I'm going to check if we can make it a little bit better. It's groovy. I mean, it's quite a bit of noise in there. It's interesting. A bit of a delay, I think, would work well. It's not the main element, so... I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to browse a little bit. Oof. Yeah, that's kind of cool these days. No, I like this. I have this mega brass here that I removed because it was too intense. So I think this is this is a good start to a track. But what make again this person track, I don't know, the more I listen to people track, it's really all about the arrangement. It's not really about the composition. It's all the track how the track is laid, how the elements are like mixed together so it sounds good on the dance floor, first of all. Second of all, the elements have to be well structured into a nice build-up to get people on the dance floor excited. You know, it cannot be just chunk, 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 chunk. It has to be, you know, curvy into the ascension and, and of course the drop. I like that a lot. It's a movie. Let's see what on the pad. That made me think that it would be great to have some percussions. Probably an hat here. Oh yeah, that's needed. Bring the groove up a little bit. A bit more action. Now for some, some drums, some thumbs. Obviously not this pattern. That would be a disaster. Well, not 
the channel I was looking for. So why uh, a large jump just before the kick? I think to make it more rounder. I will I will change this time because I don't personally think that it's so good. It just doesn't have the the chunk I'm looking for or the hump. Oh this is a bit better. Definitely need a clap layer on there. A bit higher. Pattern. I'm not sure, I'll probably put it here. So we create a little bit of unevenness in the percussions. I'm gonna cut all the lows. Let's have a look if there's any lows. So probably not so much, but always good to cut. Have your frequencies under control and really focused. Of course, this is gonna come in the mix a little bit later. a little bit, play with it. I'm not sure if it's the if the filter is closed. It is completely closed. You can play with the symmetry here. Make it a lot chunkier. Before we close it. Get a bit a bit heavy. I'm not sure about putting so much delay into a bass. If you want the, the, the lows in there. Let's look at the frequency for a second. We have a good, we have a good chunk here. It's hard to hear in the headphones, I have to be honest. I like better those speakers, which by the way, are absolutely excellent. If you're looking for pro audio speakers, 250 euros each. I mean, those are the best I bought and I'm at my 18 sets of monitor, guys. I don't work for Adam, they didn't give those to me for free. And I would recommend everybody to buy these because I used to have some Newmans that cost me in Canadian dollar, like 8,000 Canadian dollar, which is you know, 5,000 euros. And well, they were better than this, but to make dance music, this is just better. It just works, it's amazing. I need the sub though, so you have to click like so I can get a sub. Mm. Hammer it. Okay. So this 
this base I like, but I think I will use the, the EQ here to filter it because I don't like so much the top end of it. It's better like this, a bit more tame. Sometime in the mix, we'll bring it. Mix it a little bit and I think now and there's quite a bit of noise in this so make it the frequency a bit too thick I would say. I like this groove though. I'm gonna bring the pad back slowly and drop it completely and bring it in the mix just to have a listen. In the back like that, mm, this is sweet. I think it would be better with the side chain. So we're here. The pad is here. We have this comp pumping here, replicated in here. I think I would like there's no click here, or crash here, or right here, no um a bunk? A bunk could be good. Mmm, this is excellent. I could really turn that into an instrument. a delay on there, let's hear it. A bit more pad because we kind of drowned it now. I'm gonna cut a bit of the lows because these thumbs are there. I'll put it a bit higher. Open now the pad a little bit because we we're, we're molding the frequency of the track a little bit at the time. So so I'm gonna take this bong that I just created. I'm gonna do a little bit like of the opposite of it. So I'm gonna look at frequency here. I'm gonna be different the frequency, but the pattern. The pattern is there, got tenet, tenet, pa, pa, tenet, tenet, pa, pa. So what I'm gonna do is I want to counter it with a melody that would be here. That would be really in the back because those, you know, using those, uh, those placement, I, I would call it, or like in, inside of the triplets there, it's a bit risky in the sense it might sound a little bit off. But if it's a mix, in the mix, and it's mixed well, mix well, it's gonna work out. Again. I don't like this thumb very much. So let's see where the root key of this is. It's there, okay. So now we have a well-rounded percussion pattern that's driving the track forward. I'm tempted, oh, oh no, not all of them. I'm tempted to do something like this, maybe. I think this will yield better results to have like a more like a tribal y pattern, I'd call it here. Oof, 
very good. This I'm gonna cut the lows a bit more. Already, my lows are already quite busy, so I want a bit of the the, the body at three four hundred, but I don't want the, the low. So here, and then I'm gonna send it to the delay quite a lot to get the same feel. Was my blank here? The blank with this? No, that but not the block, but the blank with the blocks. Let's say this and the kick. Let's put the pad in. Don't have to make a track. So how the groove sustained this track together is incredible. Because the element themselves, well, it was okay. I'm sure now if we bring the violin, it will work. Drop the volume of the reverb a little bit, it's a bit too intense. That's great. Start building the track, record a lead. I'm always tempted to, because I do like those bass. I think it's great, but I like to have, let's say, not all three keys, but the first key. Sorry, the first key, I would like a push. So the first key, I will use like something like a, probably a big sound, brassy something. I actually made, uh, <clears throat> started making sounds in, in uh, in alchemy and I think guys I'm gonna start working on a bank I think it's probably gonna take a year or two before it's ready but I will make some really really good electronic music kind of a preset for alchemy because I'm able to really with the oscillators and everything that's in there it is really really an excellent tool however it take a lot of work to really bring it to the level I want it so I think it will come so I'm gonna go base uh, one of those here I think or maybe actually I'm gonna go straight to brass. I'm gonna go. Why is there only those with the brass? Oh no, oh, no, that not that. And it's low enough. I think I'm at one. I hope I didn't use the wrong. the right then we continue it's kind of nice and really what I'm looking for I'm gonna obviously open the filter here Definitely add some texture. You control A. I'm gonna name region by track, color region by track, so we're gonna remove a little bit of the confusion here. I'm gonna name the channel. So I, I know where I'm going with that. This is the bad. Those are the strings. This is our harp. This is the chunky bass. And then this 
is our brass edition. Add. Oh, so for the brass add, I'm gonna cut a lot of the lows, keep the body and, and, and the top. I don't want to crowd the low end so much. I'm also gonna send it to our reverb to make it bigger, a bit longer. Drop the secondary ruler here. Work two minutes. Perfect length for the template. Now we have to make a track though. This is the thing. Oh, the percussions are sweet on this. So now, guys, I mean, we need lead. I can, I can add also the little French horn here, maybe. Maybe a bit higher, I'm not sure. So this is a certain scale that goes in and then outside of that doesn't work. We need a lead, like something that's energetic enough, I think. It, it's gonna have to have some substance to it because the track is chugging, you know? There's definitely some potential there. I'm gonna go into leads, I'm gonna randomly go straight up random like this. Guys, can you tell I'm having fun? <laughs> Damn right I do. 
I think around here. So that that around here with a bit of quantizing, some you know, try to make this lead our own now. Where is it? Oh, it's underneath. Way down here. Way, way, way down. Hopefully I'm not gonna destroy it with quantize. Let's hear it. I'm not sure if, if I move that it's gonna destroy it. Oh no, that doesn't work. I think I think that's it. We don't need to make this complicated. Once you get the take, you get the take, you take the take, make it amazing, I would say. Let's take it here. I like this this wavetable sound. It's crisp, it's quite it's quite something, so gonna make the best out of it.